have you ever heard of off-grid living? I'm sure some of you have, and for those of you that haven't, keep watching because you're going to find out. But for those of you that have, you've probably never heard of an Earth ship. Well, that is what I am standing in right now. It is a low carbon building. And I've come here today for a weekend course run by the Low Carbon Trust to learn how to build one of these things. So it's a building that is made of biomaterials, of different recycled materials, of bottles, of tires. This Earthship functions as a community space. So people can come and learn how to build their own house. They can learn about low waste and low impact futures. And they can also empower themselves to fight climate change from their own home. So Misha, thank you so much for inviting me to this course and this amazing building. It's so beautiful. What was the initiation of the project? Well, the idea was to build a community centre um, that was really sustainable, out of sort of different waste materials, that was totally off-grid. With an Earthship, you've got a building that harvests everything it needs from the sun, harvests everything it needs from the sky for water and so forth. It just collects, uses its arms and reaches out and collects everything it needs from the world around it. What would you say is the cost of building this building? This building cost us around £325,000. Okay. I mean, it's probably slightly more expensive than a regular house, but you end up with a building that looks after you, you end up with a building that's got all of its energy systems. For sure, you pay for the energy systems up front, but your bills are very, very low. And that's a big difference to an average house where, you know, in the last year or so, people have been experiencing very, very high bills. So, would you recommend this as like a possibly a solution to the housing crisis? Like, could people of my age that we can't afford to buy our first house, like is, could this be a solution? I think self-build is a massively good solution for the housing crisis that we're in and if you look at other countries in Europe there's quite a high proportion of self-build. Self-build is low here, not many people do it for lots of reasons. Land's expensive, it's hard to get hold of but the course we're running this weekend is all essentially about self-building and earthship but you can take the principles, you can apply them to anything but I think one of the big steps that we could take to overcome the housing crisis is empowering people and giving them the tools they need to self-build their own homes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about some of the materials that you've used in this amazing entranceway that you have. Well, there's a couple that really spring out. This floor was actually made from um, a whole load of offcuts that we got from a monumental masons down in town, down in Brighton. I really like this here, which is the uh, glass bottle bricks. It's a really simple technique, and my colleague's actually leading a workshop on how to build with these at the moment. So, so this is a mock-up of what would be an internal stud wall, like a partition wall. I'm also going to be standing to the side to avoid the spray. Also ear defenders and gloves. Oh, I love it! Wow. I'm going to buy one! Completely <laughs> <laughs> through the glass bottle, all the way around, there'll be like a little piece of glass left. Invariably, you're just like and for you, as, as an individual, why is it important to live like this or to work with this kind of, these kind of materials? Well, I think natural materials are really important and I think you know, people can make real choices in what they do with their own homes, whether they're converting them or extending them or even repainting using natural paints, low VOC paints that are less toxic. You know, all of these things are really good in people's homes. I think what we have here is a building, perhaps we won't end up with lots of them everywhere, but they nevertheless show, you know, an alternative for the future and it demonstrates lots of different things that people can do and take away. For example, low impact materials, natural materials, um, renewable energy and energy efficiency and things like that. And it's in. And it's in. I love uh -huh. this idea. Yeah. I want to yeah. do it. I'm going to go home and knock some walls down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. I can build a house. <laughs> I think what I've taken away from these three days in particular is that this is a niche concept still and it's only happening on very, very small scale. But the engagement that I've seen, especially from the young people that were here on this course that are working in interior design and in architecture, I think they're really going to take these concepts on into the future. <laughs>